everybody welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Brianna and I make faith and lifestyle videos here on YouTube and I'm like moving to make sure you can see me anyways where do I begin um so this video is just like a very relaxed sit down chatty style video um I'm actually on my lunch break from school and it is the last week of school we only have four days left and I'm just I'm so elated and excited like I can hardly contain it I don't know if you could tell um, but I'm literally just chilling in my car like I said I'm in a random like parking lot I have been wanting to make this video for a while because this is something that is important and I would really like to kind of make these regular videos um, I I believe it's good to reflect on what the Lord has been doing in certain seasons of our lives and to be able to have something tangible whether it's a journal or a video that we can look back on in the future that kind of reminds us of how the Lord has been faithful, especially if we find ourselves in similar seasons and then we can remind ourselves like, hey, God's already done it and he'll do it again. Or God was faithful in this season and he's gonna be faithful now. So hopefully this can come as some encouragement to you. As you can tell by the title, I'm just gonna be sharing what the Lord has been teaching me in this season, things he's been doing in me, things that he has been teaching me, like I said, ways that he's been speaking, all of that and I found this video um, I've seen a few people do this type of video and like I said if you're interested um, I'd love to make more of these depending on the season of life and maybe um, you can relate to it maybe this is like the same thing God's been speaking to you in the same way or you know we can just kind of chat and share with each other because I we're you know this is a community um, and we're all the body of Christ and I just want to be able to just share what um like I said just share my heart and what God has been doing in my life so without further ado let's get into it so first and foremost I want to give a little bit of background context because I feel like this is um needed to understand like what God has been doing so a lot of you may know already but if you don't know I am in a new season of my life I was recently just got married. I'm also kind of been in a transition period when it comes to my job and my career. So I went to school to be a teacher. I've been teaching the last couple years and um, for a majority of my life, I felt the Lord calling me to ministry. And I kind of put it on the back burner, not necessarily like I, I came to a point where I was like fully in and like, okay, God, but I just didn't see myself doing ministry until later in life. Like I was like maybe 10 years from now. Fun fact, that's not, you know, our plans never really line up with God. Sometimes they do, but I, and it wasn't necessarily that I didn't want to start ministry. I just kind of convinced myself that it wasn't God's timing for me to start now. And uh, I'm grateful that it is because I've been wanting to start ministry for a while, but I am transitioning into ministry. I have a role at my church as a youth director. I'm working towards ordination to become a pastor. I technically have my local license, so I'm, I guess in that sense I am a pastor, but I'm not like ordained yet. So youth director. I work with teens and it's been amazing. And I have been teaching, finishing out the school year. So I've been doing that part-time. So newly married, newly starting ministry. So I've just been in a transition period for sure. But with that being said, without getting too in depth, obviously there's some things I can't share on here and I want to keep some of my life personal, but I have learned very quickly that ministry is very hard. It is very, it's amazing. Like I wouldn't want to be doing anything else, but I think when you first, and that's with any job, like when you first start out, it's like incredible and you're like, nothing could go wrong. This is the best thing ever. Like, this is awesome. But then like real life hits and with ministry, real life hit a little too hard and a little too soon. And, um, it's been such a learning experience and I'm so grateful. Like I truly would not change the last few months for anything because the Lord has been working through me so much and teaching me so much and like revealing himself so much that I, as hard as like some of the moments were, I would not change it. 
at all. Like I am, everything had to happen and everything happened for a reason. And every detail was intricately designed and put together by God. And I'm grateful for that. Um, but like I said, things have been challenging. There were hard moments and it really brought me to a point where I just had to be fully surrendered one and two, just fully commit to God and trust in his timing and trust in his sovereignty and his will for my life and that he had it all together. Some of you might relate to this or understand, but I am a control freak and I will admit that I I try so hard to cling to things in my life and that's been a work in progress for years. I've been working through that with God and just surrendering my life and control, but there are still some areas that I'll like give over and then I try to take back and this was an area like I literally ministry in my job I had to just lay it at his feet and there were some things happening that I like I wanted something to happen really bad and I felt like God had given me this promise and I felt like um it was going to happen but things like trying to fix the lighting sorry but things weren't working out in the way that I wanted them to even though I felt deep in my heart like they were supposed to work out or they were going to work out and God had given me this promise, but it just wasn't working out. And that was really hard. But like I said, I literally just had to trust in God and just be like, okay, God, like I physically can't do anything about this. Like this is in your hands. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to choose to trust you and trust that it's going to work out. And in that, he just, he met me in that place and I have never felt such confidence and peace in this. It's, it wasn't a storm. I don't want to call it a storm, but you know, things weren't working out in the way I wanted it to. And it was really disappointing and really difficult. And I came with a lot of highs and lows. And in that thing, I have never felt such a confidence and a peace. And that is completely from the Holy Spirit. Like he just kept speaking the word advocate and helper and protector like those three words like all together he's like I'm your advocate I'm your protector like I have already gone out I've already won this battle I've already done this and you just have to wait and you just have to trust me and I it, it's just so beautiful because I was able to just fully rely on his word and trust that he was going to do what he said he would do. And it has been so beautiful. It has been reminding me of like that I'm his daughter, that he deeply cares for me. He deeply loves me and he cares about the things I care about. And that has been very healing and freeing for me. I struggled off and on for years of feeling unworthy and feeling unloved by God. Like I really wrestled with the lie that he didn't love me. And so this idea of him being my father, him being my protector, me being his daughter, like I, I, I always believed that I, I wasn't worthy enough to be loved by him or I wasn't worthy enough to be his daughter. But in this season, he's just been showing me like how he loves me and how he's fighting for me. And that has just been just life changing and incredible. That's really it. Like this has just been the lesson in the season. He's been answering so many prayers. And I wanted to share this with you because one, I want you, I really encourage you guys to reflect and look back on this season and what God has been teaching you. Like, what has he been showing you? What prayers has he answered? But then second, this is a message from my heart that I believe that the Lord wants me to share with you. This isn't just for myself. You that are watching this, you are sons and daughters of the most high King and God loves you. And he is your advocate. He is your protector. He is your helper. Whatever you're going through, whatever storm you're in right now, whatever promise he's given you that you're waiting to happen maybe you're in a waiting season whatever it is he's already gone out and he has won the battle and the victory is his and he is advocating for you sorry the lighting is so bad okay but he's advocating for you he loves you and it's just so it, it, i can't even i don't even have words to describe how incredible it is to know that he is mindful of us. He loves us. He cares about us. He cares about 
every detail of our lives, every detail of your life. And this is just so important that we know this in our hearts because it changes how we live. It changes how we think. It changes how we view situations. Because the next time we're in a storm, we'll be like, hey, God has already got this. He has already answered this prayer in a previous season or he has already fought a battle for me. I know he's going to come through again. Anyways, man, this stuff is good. I... <laughs> I hope you enjoy. I'm sorry. This is such a casual video, but I really wanted to get this message out. Didn't want to make it a whole production. Just wanted to share my heart. But comment down below, like, what has God been teaching you in the season? Let's let's have a conversation going. I'd love to interact with you guys. But that's about it, guys. I can't thank you enough for supporting me in this channel. Thank you for just always being there and watching these videos. It, I want to be here if it weren't for you guys. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.